Week three of the NFL season has arrived. Already feels like mid-season, doesn't it, with all that's going on around the league? Let's talk about a few of these featured games here in week three, starting with the NFL's return to London. Yes, Londoners get NFL football once again. Unfortunately for them, they get the Jacksonville Jaguars once again. Sometimes you have to wonder whether Roger Goodell is trying to draw more fans to the NFL or push them away by sending them the Jags every year, but that's what it is. This time around, the Jags will be facing the Baltimore Ravens. Ravens a three-and-a-half point favorite at BetSafe. 40.5 the total here. Ravens coming off a couple of impressive wins, though they haven't really faced anybody. The Jags, meanwhile, coming off an ugly home loss to the Tennessee Titans. But the Jags did win in Week 1. They beat the Texans in Week 1. And I've been impressed with that Jacksonville defense. The Jags have played excellent defense for six and a half quarters this season. Yes, they did let it get away from them a little bit at the end of that Tennessee game. But it's clear that the defense is going to be the strength of this Jacksonville team this season. And they'll be facing the Baltimore offense here that not particularly explosive and will be without their best offensive lineman. The Ravens getting the devastating news this week that multiple-time Pro Bowler Marshall Yanda will miss the remainder of the season. On the other side of the ball, though, the news considerably brighter for the Ravens. They have been dominant on defense, and they'll be facing a struggling Jacksonville offense. The Jags just don't have a dependable quarterback right now. It's as simple as that. Blake Bortles not getting the job done, so defenses are able to gang up on rookie running back Leonard Fournette. I expect the Ravens to do just that on Sunday. I think there's going to be an ugly, low-scoring game. I know it's never fun to bet the under, especially when the total is as low as 40.5, but I do believe it's the right play in this situation. Moving on now to an NFC East showdown in Philadelphia where the New York Giants come to town to face the Eagles. Both these teams coming off of bad losses, but it has been especially ugly in New York. The Giants have produced just 13 combined points in their first two games. Both head coach Ben McAdoo and quarterback Eli Manning taking heavy fire right now. These guys are under major pressure to get it turned around. And you know, the Giants have weapons in the passing game, led by Odell Beckham, of course. Ben McAdoo's offense certainly worked at times last year, so it's a bit mystifying why it has been so ugly through these first two games. And I do think they're going to get it going at least somewhat here in the coming weeks. On the other side of the ball, it's a pretty good matchup here for the Giants. The Eagles' offense has been extremely one-dimensional throughout the first two games. They just don't run the football. I mean, they are a pass-first attack right now with Carson Wentz, and the strength of the New York Giants team is their secondary, especially if Janoris Jenkins is back. After shutting down Des Bryant in Week 1, he sat out Week 2, but they do expect him back here this week. Again, that Giants secondary, very good, and the Eagles' offense could play right into their hands on Sunday. I know it's sort of tough to back the Giants after what we've seen out of them over these first two weeks, but something tells me this is going to be a close game. BetSafe offering several different handicap markets, Philly minus 4.5, Philly minus 7.5. I'm looking at that 4.5 point number. New York Giants, a little bit better than even money, plus 4.5. I think that might be a winning play here. Moving on now to Washington, where the Redskins host the Oakland Raiders on Sunday night football. Oakland, a 2.5 point favorite at BetSafe, 53.5 the total here. Raiders undefeated so far this season, but that secondary hasn't really been tested yet. And if you recall, their secondary was awful last season. Last week, the Raiders played the Jets, so no test at all there. Now, in week one, they did play Marcus Mariota and the Tennessee Titans, and Mariota had some success throwing for 256 yards, though the Titans as a whole did not play very well offensively in that game. Maybe some of that is due to what Oakland did defensively. But the Raiders really going to get a test here against Kirk Cousins and this Washington Redskins passing attack. The Redskins can attack in a lot of different ways. They haven't really got Terrell Pryor going yet this season, though Pryor, Pryor will be matched up with a rookie for a lot of this game. So don't be surprised if they take a few shots downfield. But Washington excels in the short to intermediate passing game. Chris Thompson out of the backfield. Jordan Reed is dealing with injuries, of course. The Redskins are multidimensional in the passing attack. And again... I think they're really going to test this Oakland secondary. On the other side of the ball, the Raiders do have a solid offense, and they will move the ball and put some points on the board here. But the skin showed a little backbone last week, making some key second-half stops in a road win over the L.A. Rams. Something tells me here, returning home, primetime situation, Sunday night football. Again, Kirk Cousins is going to be able to get the offense rolling. I like Washington to win this game, and Oakland's a two-and-a-half point favorite. I'm going to bet the Redskins on the money line. That can be had at 238 right now at BetSafe. Final game I'd like to talk about in this week three. What about the Monday nighter? Dallas Cowboys going on the road to face the Arizona Cardinals. Dallas a three and a half point favorite at bet safe. 47.5 the total here. Both these teams have been a little shaky to start this season. They've really both been exposed on defense, I think. You look at Arizona back in week one, they surrendered 35 points and four passing touchdowns to Matt Stafford and the Lions. 
And the Cowboys last week gave up 42 and four touchdown passes to Trevor Simeon in a very mediocre Denver offense. So both these teams have questions on the defensive side of the ball right now. Offensively, I think more answers than questions. We know what Dallas likes to do. They like to run the ball behind Ezekiel Elliott. I highly doubt Elliott is going to have as poor a game again this week as he had last week. I do expect that Dallas offense to get it moving again. Arizona, meanwhile, Carson Palmer off to a little bit of a slow start this season, but he found a rhythm in the fourth quarter of last week's win in Indianapolis. Palmer finished that game with 332 passing yards, and this Dallas secondary looked awful vulnerable against Denver last week. So I think both offenses going to have some success here. I look for this to be a high-scoring game. I like over 47 and a half. There you have it, folks. Those are some of my thoughts on this week three of the 2017 NFL season. I wish you best of luck whatever you decide to do this week. Just so long as your interests don't conflict with my interests. For Bet Safe, I'm John Arnett.